Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, uh, Shiatsu therapists all over the world. Uh, this is another episode with another great guest, and I'm so excited to share some news and a great project that has been done in France. Uh, my guest today is Nathalie Bernardinelli. Bernardinelli. Okay. <laughs> Well, just like my last name, you know, uh, so it's it's good to practice all these nationalities here. Well, thank you for, thank you for joining me, uh, Natalie. Thank you for inviting me. Yes, uh, I'm really honored to have you here uh, as my last guest for for this season after the, uh, until the end of the summer. Uh, I thought it was really important to bring you on and to share your project with Shiatsu therapists all over the world. As usual, we have guests here, uh, and the whole point of of this podcast is to inspire, to motivate, uh, to create connections, and and to learn also from our valuable guests. Um, Natalie, maybe uh, tell us about yourself and your journey towards uh, shiatsu, becoming a shiatsu therapist. Just for our members to know who you are and how you came about this lovely therapy. Okay. Well, so I'm Nathalie Bernardinelli. I live in France and uh, I'm a shiatsu therapist since, uh, well, 12 years now. It's uh, my full time job. Uh, it's make me live. So I'm very happy and lucky. Um, and uh, I have studied Namikoshi Shiatsu first and then I have done. Um, um, different um, different trainings uh, in France and in Italy also because uh, I think we have uh, uh, we can always learn. Uh, Shiatsu is uh, well, uh, we never stop. We never stop, and that's what what I love about Shiatsu. Yes, it's, and, it's, um, it's just a way a way of life too. It's not just a therapy. There's uh, always to yes. learn. Yeah. Yes. So why 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 in particular shiatsu though? What what did you do before and before shiatsu? I was in marketing. I was a product manager, and uh, I loved the job. Uh, I've done it in Italy uh, in an international so scale and uh, everything. It was great, but it was very stressful. And uh, well, one day my body just shut down and say, "Okay, no, <laughs> you won't go. You won't." Um, well, uh, wake up today, and uh, and my husband uh, booked me a shiatsu appointment. He said, "Well, uh -huh. something just opened here in the near near our, our home, so you you're gonna go there and try shiatsu. What is that?" He said, "I I don't know. Just try it. Uh, you are completely like this." And uh, and I went there, and uh, when I walk in, I was completely oh my god and when i just get out i was so relaxed and everything and i just love the world around me and i say oh it's great <laughs> and i've begun to well uh this uh, shiatsu uh, accompaniment you can say that uh, a follow-up okay with follow -up uh, appointments yeah kept yeah. going and receiving more yes Exactly, and uh, on a regular basis. Um, and uh, I wanted to change uh, my job, to change company, but uh, I didn't find anything because it was uh, in uh, 2008 and, you know, there was the, this financial crisis. So it was uh, yes. marketing yes. and communication were the first, the first budget uh, that were cut. So yeah. it, uh, I didn't find anything. And uh, the accountant of the company where I was uh, working say to me, but uh, why don't you do shiatsu? When you talk about shiatsu, you have stars on your eyes and, uh, and everything. I said, I don't know. Uh, I've studied more than five years after my, uh, uh, after college. I've not done five years in college. I speak three languages. It's not the way I should uh, uh, take. And uh, and I say, okay, let's, why not? And I found the school and I found everything and I quit my job. I started to 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 learn shiatsu and I got pregnant. So it was a very new life. <laughs> a a baby. whole chapter, a whole new a book new started. Exactly. Becoming, becoming a mother and birthing uh, into a therapist. Yes. Exactly. Amazing. And who were some of your teachers? Maybe mention a few of them. Uh, my main teachers were Enzo Cimino mm -hmm. and uh, Christian Recio. But both of them are retired now. Okay. <laughs> so 
unfortunately, nobody can learn from them anymore. And it's a pity because they were very, very great teachers. Mm. What What are some of the things that you really took from them and you embodied as you grew into a therapist? Well, um, they were very different. Uh, mm. One was also uh, the Italian will say prana therapist. You know that you. Yep. Prana okay. healing, yeah. Okay, uh, one uh, one was uh, also a, a prana healer. Pranic healer, pranic healer. yeah. Pranic yeah. healer. Yeah. And uh, the other one was more um, chiropractic, you know, yeah. it was about uh, cracking bones and, uh, and everything. Yeah, making adjustments. Exactly, yeah. making a lot of adjustments. And uh, what I've learned from them, um, well, the, the same thing will be the, um, the love of the people. You know, mm. to 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 be at uh, at disposal of the people, and they say, okay, you are not the healer. Uh, the energy is the healer, and the technique you will bring to them is the healer. But you are nothing. Just remember that. And uh, I think it's a it's a great um, serve you served you well. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, it served me very well. It and helps then... me to have a, a calm ego. <laughs> yes. I always say we, we should learn how to check the ego at the door before we enter our treatment room. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Shiatsu is a, is a very humbling uh, therapy too. I mm. find uh, very grounded. Well, and as you chose uh, to take this path, becoming a mother, moving along uh, and uh, choosing to make it your career, because, uh, you know, that's what you said. You make a full time living doing it. What was that process like? What was that process like for you? Honestly, it was very easy because it was an evidence. And, um, well, everything was very fluid on the on this uh, path. So I just have to say thank you. <laughs> Fantastic. And obviously you have uh, an interest in research uh, and, and, and education also around it. Can you speak about that too? Uh, what, what made you interested in research and... Uh... Well, before doing my marketing uh, business school, I had a scientific high school process, let's say like that. Yeah. And uh, science has always interested me. Biology is, uh, is a fascinating uh, field, I think. And um, shiatsu was also um, a new way to explore biology and human body. And... Um, Research, I didn't know uh, really a lot about this uh, before the French syndicate uh, asked me to to deal with this project. And they say, OK, we went to to see the health ministry in France and they told us that we have to evaluate the benefit risk balance on our technique. And uh, we need someone to to lead a project like that. And uh, we thought about you because you are young, you speak many languages, and uh, well, you seem dynamic. <laughs> okay, are you interested in that project? I said, of course I am. Amazing. And for dealing with that, they sent me to a medical university in Lyon, in France. Yeah. And uh, I was taught for um, 200 hours there uh, to, to learn how to implement a clinical trial. Amazing. And that was, well, 200 hours in the university, yes. but uh, 10 times this uh, volume of hours to do the work. Yes, yes, I understand. And that, and that led you uh, to this current project Yes, but let me to the... this project because on the other hand, on, on the other hand, the hand the syndicate, the French syndicate wanted to also build uh, an official uh, training in a university for shiatsu to make it more official to to put shiatsu in um, in a un, in university. No, how do you say university in... level or university? Yes, at the university level. level. Yes. Level? Yep. And they were working on that project, and uh, the university, um, which were which was ready to to do this project uh, with the French syndicate, was Orléans. And uh, uh, like a nice hazard, the president of this uh, of this um, part of of university is a rheumatologist named Dr. Eric Lespessay. And uh, talking with our president, uh, with the president of the syndicate. 
Well, he, he had learned that someone in the syndicate was working on, uh, to, on the elaboration of a clinical trial on uh, shatsu pain and uh, spondyloarthritis. And he said, ooh, 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 wait a second, this is my field. That's I right. want to meet that person. <laughs> Destiny, Destiny called and, uh, and met uh, this beautiful doctor that uh, is very much interested in, in uh, hearing about shiatsu therapy and the subject matter, yeah? Yes, yes, he was he was in, very interested in that, and we we had this phone call, and he said, "Okay, I really appreciate the fact that you know what a clinical trial is," and uh, as um, my career is at its end, I can do what I want, and he, was, he, he has already done a lot of publications, like hundreds of publications, so he, he has nothing to prove anymore to uh, to his peers, so he can do really what he wants, and he's very interested in this complementary therapy, and he said, okay, I believe in Shiatsu, uh, I like the, the fact that you, you know about research and clinical trials, so I want to work with you. Okay. Fantastic. So he was <laughs> eager, especially learning that you have this background in clinic and learning and knowing about clinical trials, how to how to do it, uh, you know, the language. And what yes, was the process? Because... What was the process after that? What what did you both decide? Uh, okay, I sent him uh, the project that I have uh, built in the during the university training, and he said to me, "Okay, uh, in a theoretical in a theoretical way, uh, it's um it's a very nice job, but it's not reality. Now I will help you to bring that to the real life." And uh, we had a lot of uh, email exchange, and uh, we met uh, uh, several Chinese earlier, and with video and everything mm, to make it real. Because uh, I was starting my, um, the, the, the initial project was about uh, pain. And he said, no, 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 we won't deal with pain because um, uh, other people are dealing with pain okay. already. Yeah. And we, want, we, we don't want to offend them. So let's ah. find another field. Right and uh, he said, nobody takes care about fatigue. And fatigue is, very, is a very um, important issue on my patients. Often they are very tired and they can't do anything with that. And, it's, and that's a problem in their everyday life. And he asked me, do you think that shiatsu can help them uh, with fatigue? I said, of course, we do that very, very often. And, uh, and we can deal very well with fatigue. We help people to, to have um, back their, their energy. So yes, yes, of course. Fantastic. So both of you got excited. I know it's a long process. Maybe talk about the process, how long it took. Uh... Well, when the French syndicate, the, the exact name is uh, uh, SPS, uh, Syndicat des Professionnels de Shiatsu. It's important to name them right. because they are, they are doing a great job. So thank you guys for okay. that. And, we'll post, and uh, uh, we'll post their website too uh, after this. Yes, yes. It's the syndicat-shiatsu.fr. Okay. You, you put that on comment. And uh, um, they talked to me about this project in October, in October uh, 2018. And uh, I've met uh, Dr. Les Pesai maybe one year after that. And then there was the COVID pandemic. So uh, everything was everything stopped. Everything stopped, yeah. Yeah, uh, the world stopped. Yeah. And uh, we started again uh, uh, in 21 i think yes and uh, the project uh, stopped live uh, on september 22 okay so uh, once that came you had to choose obviously uh, the amount of people yes. you had to choose the 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 you have to, you had to come out with a protocol and also the number of uh, shiatsu therapists uh, yes, because uh, the hospital is uh, 200 kilometers from my home, so I can't do uh, the, the shiatsu at the hospital. And uh, above all, first we started with 50 uh, patients to include in the project. And then Dr. Lespesai uh, talked with his staff and uh, a biostatistician told him, no, 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 uh, with the criteria you want to evaluate and what you are um, expecting for to be statistically um, efficient, you need 120 people. Ooh, okay, so that's more uh, than uh, twice <laughs> the 
the initial project. Okay, let's do that. And first, we, we wanted to do three shiatsu per patient. And in the end, it was six shiatsu per patient. Wow. And, um, so six in, um, times in, 120, and uh, that's uh, 720. 720 shiatsu to give. Yeah. So that's a lot of shiatsu. And yeah. above all, it's not um, six shiatsu in a row like this. We yeah. have first session of three shiatsu with uh, two weeks. You know, shiatsu number one, two weeks. Shiatsu number two, two weeks. Shiatsu two weeks. number three. And then we have a washout period uh, uh, session of uh, four months because we wanted to cancel the effect of the first three shiatsu. Ah, and okay. then have another session of three shiatsu. Th uh, shiatsu four, two weeks. Shiatsu five, two weeks. Shiatsu, shiatsu six. But the two groups of shiatsu are not the same shiatsu because um, he told me, well, to evaluate the efficiency of your technique, we have to build a placebo shiatsu. <gasps> First, to build a shiatsu protocol to standardize uh, a practice is very difficult because shiatsu is all about personification. Adjust, you have to adjust your shiatsu with the person you have in front of you. Yes. We know that the person is not just a pathology or a symptom. It's, a, it's an everything. Yeah. So first, he was asking me something very hard to do, a standardized protocol. We have done that. I, I haven't done that all by myself. Huh? I have worked with other very experienced uh, shiatsu therapists that are um, most of all Pierre Amateur and Jacques Laurent. Okay. And uh, we have worked together to build this uh, standardized shiatsu protocol. And then now, Dr. Lispesa was asking me to do a, a shiatsu placebo. Oh my God, but what is a, a shiatsu placebo? It was yes. very, very complicated. What, what, what does that look like? I've always been curious because I've seen clinical studies before, you know, uh, this practice and then a sham practice or acupuncture and sham acupuncture. So so this is very similar. What, what does that look like? Uh, this placebo uh, shiatsu, that, what does that mean? First, we had to answer, what is shiatsu? Okay. and what is not shiatsu okay. and with all the styles of shiatsu that exist in the world we were just uh, very embarrassed uh, to determine uh, also the, the standardized protocol and um, what we have um, noticed is that every style have one uh, common point and this is the pressure. Pressure. Okay. The pressure. It can be done uh, in a deep way, in a light way, in a um, 90 angle, uh, 90 degrees angle, or 45 angles, but there is always pressure. Okay. And so we have decided to do the placebo uh, as uh, exactly the same points, but with the lightest, uh, the lightest contact possible. We know there is contact, and as um, when there is contact, something's happening. Yeah. But we had to, we we really had to find uh, a way, you know, a, con a consensus. You say, you say yeah. like this. Yeah, a consensus. Yeah. A consensus, and science is all about consensus. And Dr. Espesai said to me, "Okay, I'm coming your way, but you have to come my way also." So okay, yeah. I'm doing a lot of steps, you know. <laughs> but. but um, this is how we built it. So we have this standardized protocol mm. and this sham shiatsu, which okay. is the same points, but with no, no pressure. Mm. I got it. It can, be, uh, it can be criticized. It's not perfect. Yes. But uh, methodoly in, a, in a methodological way, in this is the, more, the closer we, we could get, the closest we could get to, uh, to, the, to a standardized medical trial. Got it. And to create the uh, standardized uh, methodology, which is the Shiatsu meth methodology, uh, which one did you choose and how did you came about choosing it? Well, as we say, uh, we know that uh, there are diff a lot of different styles of Shiatsu and no style is uh, better than another one. So how to choose? And so we decided to, to let the history choose for us. And we decided to base our research on the Namikoshi protocol. 
it was a uh, it not it's not exactly the Namikoshi basis of protocol, but uh, the inspiration is uh, this one because I think uh, this is maybe the protocol that is um, spread around the world the the more um, um, in the same way you know uh, to be yeah. an Amikoshi instructor you have to be very very methodological and uh, right. and to That's do it right. exactly the same way. And we say, okay, so because we have to think also that the research, the protocol uh, should be uh, reproduced by another team in everywhere in the world. So we say, okay, let's take the Namikoshi basis. So uh, an American, uh, a Brazilian, a Chinese, or an African, I don't know, uh, anybody could, uh, could uh, learn it because uh, everyone should know, I think, the Namikoshi. Sure, sure. Yeah. Yeah. But it was not just Namikoshi uh, protocol. We had some meridian points also because uh, a lot of uh, Shetsu therapists today use uh, use meridians, of course. Yes, yes. So, so you added some uh, uh, meridian points, some two bows into it. Uh, any any particular uh, meridians that you've chose to add uh, that you want? No, to we we didn't get the logic of uh, meridians, even if. I have to say, uh, okay, uh, I don't know the name in English. Uh, in French, this is Vessi, you know? Um, the governing vessel, the one that goes oh. up the spine. Uh, yes, uh, let, let me let me uh, have the, tra the translation here. Sorry. It's okay. Bladder, the bladder, bladder meridian, okay. of course. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> okay, no problem. So, the bladder meridian, of course, we work uh, a lot uh, on this one. And we had also uh, added some points uh, with the um, kidney meridian and also the gallbladder meridian. And uh, the, how do you say uh, this one? The heart protector or the pericardium? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And uh, but um, we wanted to to limit also also the the meridian points because uh, otherwise we, we you can so easily lose yourself uh, within all these points. So we've chosen very precise ones, and uh, that's it. Got it, got it. And so far, uh, how many people have you worked on? Uh, which phase is the trial in? We we are let's say at the um, the third of the inclusion process. Uh, we we have planned to to include uh, one hundred and twenty people now, and today I think we are uh, thirty eight people uh, include right now in the uh, in the trial. Got it. And maybe talk to us about the actual condition, this form of arthritis. What what do you know about it? What do I know? Sorry, what, I didn't. What do you know about this form of arthritis that you're treating? The spondyl, spondyl. Well, honestly, at the beginning, absolutely nothing. It's a, it's not a common condition. Yes. No, it's not a common but condition. It's a, it's, a, it's a very debilitating condition. Yeah. Yes, it's a very debilitating condition. Uh, the diagnosis can be very long, also, and uh, it's an an inflammatory uh, rheumat. Rheumatology, mm, I don't know. The rheumatoid English. type, uh, rheumatoid uh, type of arthritis, but it affects uh, more the the joints there, right? It affects the joints uh, above all the uh, the ten the tendon joints. You the say like that. Joints. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it makes it uh, uh, inflammatory, and then uh, it uh, transform it in bone. Let's yeah, say like uses, that, and then the. It. The, the they have a, a, they tend to have a palm richer, yeah exactly and uh, above all they have pain in the back but also in all the articulation to be honest and they have also other problems uh, with uh, with eyes and uh, and uh, also the um, the gut and the, the gut, digest the gut digest is a big issues. problem yes. Yes. yes it's a it's a very complex and uh, it touches uh, every like a uh, every part of your of your body and the very uh, specific uh, specificity of this pathology and then you can have two people officially with the same pathology with but with very different symptoms so it's that's why it's very hard to diagnose this also yes i mean i have a, a client that i worked with last year and he was a, a psychologist and he had that condition and mm. and uh, tremendous pain and uh, he was doing traditional physio for it uh, and as you mentioned his sleep was definitely affected his energy was definitely affected uh, 
and and his posture right uh, not finding yes. imagine also as a psychologist having to sit right and and take clients uh, so that created a work stress anxiety but but what she has is very powerful yeah we, we helped him out yeah yes. it's, yeah it's uh it's but it is it can be a very debilitating condition especially as you age too and uh yes yes the pain as you said is uh, often also at night people can't sleep with uh, with that when they when they are in crisis it's uh, it's absolutely awful you 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 they, they never find a a, a a position to get some relief so it's um well, it's very painful it's, it's very painful, painful. well we, uh, it's so great that we're doing this uh, project in a hospital setting w with a doctor and technicians a whole team it really it takes a whole team to oversee it i mean from both sides from yes. your side you had you know help uh not from only other shiatsu therapists but you know more experienced shiatsu therapists to to come up with a strategy and a protocol and then uh, on the medical side not only the doctors there but you got people that are measuring everything statisticians uh you know uh nurses are involved too or, or... no no nurses are not involved now so it's just the people that are measuring uh have all this intake forms to before and after and uh, measuring tools yes exactly and we have also um for now we have two doctors that are recruiting people but uh, we would like to have more doctors also that uh, can um, send us uh, their patients and uh, to to integrate the, the the research research is never about one one person research is always uh, a team because no one can do everything by by himself oh, no. it's a tremendous undertaking yeah and yeah it's taken uh, almost five years you said uh now it's uh, almost five years but uh it uh, it has been four years uh well yes it has taken four years between the the first day someone talked to me about this project and the beginning of the trial four years yes well, it's very long at the beginning you know when i was starting this training at the uni the medical university about uh, what is a clinical trial and how to implement uh, a trial and everything you know i was really convinced that at the end of the year everything would have been done so the the trial the statistic and the publication <laughs> i was so genuine <laughs> <laughs> yeah you you were you didn't know you were just naive right but once you get into it uh and you we learn the scope of it and and thanks for sharing all of this because it's important that we we hear it yeah people need to yeah to understand that research is not uh, something you do like that and a lot of people have great ideas about what we could measure, what we could test on shatsu and different pathology and everything. Yes, it's of course we need ideas, but we need also pragmatical way to uh, to explore this uh, this point of view, and uh, we need uh, um, to have a precise a precise lead, a, a precise um, scheme. Yes, and uh, it's not uh, it's not easy at these teams. Well, uh, um. You know, your organization in France, uh, the Shiatsu, what did you call them? The Shiatsu? The... SPS, Syndicat des Professionnels de Shiatsu. Oh, French uh, syndicates, like, let's call them like that. that. But the fact that they reached uh, the health minister, right? Uh, that's well, quite they, they, they didn't talk directly to the health oh, minister. The Ministry of Health. The Ministry yeah. of Health. Uh, that that that's quite an initiative you know and but we are uh we have a team that is very very mobilized to to talk with uh, our representative there are uh, some representative have um, have written some letters also on the parliament and everything and we are really really they, they are doing an amazing job uh, so you know you say, this is a, a shadow talk. job you know this is not a job um, you know about but it is it's absolutely mandatory and uh, if no one do that well Shetsu won't be recognized in France France is a very protocolary country and the state is very present in uh, in our everyday lives so um, well, we need we need people to do that, and they do it very, very, very good. So thank you guys for doing that. Yes, 
thank you those people and, and when you say representatives are those uh, what we call here lobbyists they they lobby for no the representative is the is the deputy you say that the deputy or, or like a, an mla in our language yes yes i understand so a local deputy that represents yeah, yeah. exactly okay good so you've recruited some of those people to go to the health well, uh, there is a, a team, let's say, in the syndicate who, uh, who is talking with the with these people, trying right. to convince them. Often they have closed doors in front of yes. them, huh? of yes, course, yes. but um, they go on and on and on and on, and uh, till a door opens, and uh, and twice it has opened in this uh, uh, few years. So um, some letters have have been written to the parliament, and uh, well, we are trying to to have a real uh, recognition of our uh, job. Yes, yes, that's the goal. I've had, uh, you know, uh, guests that have done it again in uh, Switzerland. Uh, and that was quite a process and took many years, uh, but they did it. And uh, hopefully this, this shows a way of, of how to do it. Some patients, some initiatives some organizations and and yeah. not not being shy on knocking on doors and talking to the right people until those doors open up and this shows the value of it right uh, and then it's all for shiatsu and recognition yes but it's very hard because also you are not paid when you do that so you no. are just giving time energy and you don't know if uh, if it's gonna give something if you're gonna have something out of uh, all of this mobilization but uh, uh, so really, really thank you for the people who are doing it because uh, we need them. Thank you, guys. Good. Uh, how how long before we hear the results? I know you can't maybe give me an exact timeline, uh, but that, that'll be really interesting to, to see the results come in, right? Well, the idea will be to finish all the shiatsu in uh, October 2024. Okay. That's not too bad. That's not too far ahead. Yeah. No. And yeah. then you have to, we have to collect all the data to let the statistician work, the statisticians work on, uh, on them. And after we need to write the the paper, the, the the article for publication, and also to write an article is a very long process. It's not something you can you do like that. Yeah. It's weeks and months of uh, of work, and then you have to find an editor who is willing to publish your paper, and it's not that easy either. Even if we had the, our protocol published, and uh, it's uh, thanks to this that uh, you have known about uh, our project. Yes. But uh, it uh, it was the uh, I think uh, the fourth review that uh, we have uh, we we have uh, contacted. Fantastic. So it's uh, reviews are not um, willing to to share our work for. Whatever well, we reason. have to find the right review. Exactly, exactly. For whatever reasons, they're not willing to share your work yet. But, yes. you know, keep trying, keep keep sending. Yes, keep your... sending and, um, and uh, well, let's still have hope. <laughs> we'll, we'll push through and we'll bring all our collective shiatsu, you know, energy into it. And, yes. And, and blow the flame of hope and move it forward to open some doors, right? Now... Talking about hope, what is the hope of uh, having, let's say we publish this uh, amazing project and clearly, scientifically, we can see that Shiatsu is very effective uh, for this. Uh, what is the hope? What do you hope personally? Uh, what is the <laughs> well, in a Disney world, it will be, okay, the recognition of Shiatsu for fatigue in spondyloarthritis and doctors all over France uh, writing prescriptions for the patients to, to receive Shiatsu on a regular basis to deal with that. Yes. This will be the, the best. Unfortunately, uh, officially, uh, it's not because you have done one research and you have proven what you wanted to, that uh, uh, it's, it's not taken for granted. Uh, you are told by the scientific, uh, that by the scientific uh, community, okay, so now to this to be a, a very uh, real proof, another team around the world 
need to do exactly the same protocol and have the same results. And Very then the maybe we can protocol. consider yeah. that it's true. Ah. But, uh, uh, and also after that, uh, the official prescription for Shiatsu could be only for fatigue in spondyloarthritis. So it's, it's very short. But as we know, uh, doctors can also say, okay, if it works for fatigue in spondyloarthritis, maybe it works for fatigue for uh, other pathology. Absolutely, absolutely. And again, it's finding the right doctors, right? So a Shiatsu therapist can take this research uh paper and this publication and go to his local doctor yes uh, you know when you come across this type of a patient you know we can we can help you know and that's yes. the beauty of it right uh please do this use this protocol and go see doctors and say okay look uh, look uh, what uh what is going on what is uh yes what is going on in france let's do that also here because uh, we can do this Use our work, please use it. <laughs> Amazing. I mean, there's been some other research papers on Shiat, so it's it's good to have one, and uh, as many as possible, of course, right? Yes. Uh, and uh, you know, as as you are describing, it's it's a process, but it's something that we, Shiatsu therapists, uh, organizations, associations, federations have to take into account and and recruit. Uh, Shiatsu therapists that maybe, uh, if lucky, have your kind of background, right? And and uh, and being educated around this, and have some passion around this, and support people like that in in our associations, uh, members like that that want to do research and and support them, just as your association has supported you. And 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 that's the way to do it to get some recognition. You know, the more the more we have it, the more papers we have the more serious we are taken. You know, something about research is that uh, something very weird for me is that you have to come with a new project based on old projects. You can't just imagine something new, uh, just uh, born from nowhere. Mm. You have to, to give a justification for why you are doing that. Okay. And, uh, that was one of uh, of a dif uh, uh, difficult. That that was the first difficulty. The the first uh, really hard thing to do was to find um, studies. Was to find publications that uh, done in a in a serious and uh, pragmatical way to justify this uh, this trial. And so more we are going to publish. Uh, papers and article about shiatsu and the effectiveness of shiatsu on different fields, it will be useful for everyone. Mm -hmm. So we are talking here about fatigue, but uh, we can use a justification of this uh, if it was uh, about, I don't know, um, sleep, yes. for, for instance. If someone has written a paper, uh, shiatsu effectiveness on, uh, on sleep, uh, uh, for people with uh, uh, some pathology, this article can be used for for fatigue also. So that's why, uh, you know, publications are very yeah. very important. Fantastic. So please, people, if you have done some trials or also some ideas or everything, try to publish your ideas. Try to to give some bibliography uh, on chat. So it's very very important. I mean, this is great. I know. Again, I've had some guests who have done some. Uh studies research the shiatsu research network have you heard of them the shiatsu yes. you know they've done some studies too so so the more again the more people do those studies uh, the more we benefit yeah what and else for would, everyone what else would you like to add uh, to let our people know maybe some inspiring words or anything else that... oh, oh some inspiration to give this is very late for me right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you've inspired us enough with just by by doing this, uh, you know. Well, we I really want to thank you uh, for undertaking this. You know, uh, I know how much work. Well, I really don't know how much work, but but I can imagine how much work it's taken uh, to push this through and make this a reality, and continued work that it will take. Uh, so I and uh, the Shiatsu community really appreciate you. And appreciate Thank your, you. <laughs> your, your, your colleagues and uh, everything that you are doing there in France, but also representing us all over the world. So I really want to thank you.
But thank you, Mihal, for um, inviting me. And uh, it was a, a big surprise for me. <laughs> and uh, above all, um, if um, if people want to ask ask me some questions, please feel free to to do it, uh, and uh, I will uh, I will uh, answer. Sure. Don't worry. Do you do you have a website? Um, I know I have. I, I have a website, uh, uh, but it's a French complicated name also. So <laughs> we we we'll put the site on comment. <laughs> Okay, we'll do that. Uh, so I'll put I'll put your email, and if you can also send me your website, we'll put that in. I'll send you my website and also the website of the French Syndicate. Perfect. Well, thank you very much again, and uh, thank, thank you for inspiring us. Yes, thank you very thank much. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye everyone. Uh, have a great uh, summer. There's so much that is going on in our Shiatsu community. It's just unbelievable. Everywhere I look, the guests that I'm having on initiatives, uh, associations joining together, research is happening. Shiatsu is awakened, moving, growing, evolving, and spreading. A new wave is coming. So contribute to it as much as you can. Rest, enjoy the summers with your family. Take those enriching workshops that are coming on all over the place again, meeting in person, online. Thank you very much.